Alright, this is John Colo with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you. And today I'm eating lunch in my garden. So if you ever wonder what I eat for lunch or how I eat lunch, this is what I do for lunch. Come out to the backyard, sit amongst my beautiful backyard garden, and I eat lunch while I'm actually reading through seed catalogs. In any case, what we're going to talk about today is these guys. Whoa, man, these guys are like as big as my head. And this is actually a small one. This is known as a jackfruit. The jackfruit can be up to 100 pounds. It's probably the world's largest fruit. And I know many of you guys may have never seen this or heard of this or even tasted it before. So actually I'm going to show you guys what it is. Now the jackfruit is a tropical fruit. It grows in the tropical environment. You know, it does not like when it's too cold, much like me. I don't like when it gets too cold, so it will not handle frost or anything like that. And it grows on a nice large tree. And uh, these guys, uh, when you pick them, if you get them, I pick, I, I pick this, I didn't grow this, unfortunately. Uh, this is actually grown in Mexico, they grow in also Florida, and uh, oftentimes you can get them at Asian markets, or ethnic markets in your area, most standard American supermarkets. You'll never see a jackfruit, because most people don't know what they are. It's kind of sad, because once you taste it, you're going to love it more than apples, as I do. <laughs> in any case, it's uh, kind of spiky on the outside, but it's not that hard. And no, this is not the durian, which is even more spiky than this. This has a much better flavor in my opinion. So what you see here is you see me already actually cut it open. This is another one that I actually cut open. Uh, when you're picking these, you want to get one that's a little bit soft to the touch. Don't get them when they're green. Um, you know, and they should, if you, if you smell the sealed fruit, it should smell fruity and actually kind of like bubble gum. And so when you cut it open, there's going to be a nice uh, stem in the middle that you can't eat. And then all the parts in the middle, uh, these little fibers actually are edible but they don't really taste that good because they're just fiber. But what we're looking for is, we're looking for these little pods. Let me go ahead and dig one out here for you guys. We're looking for these little pods and what these pods are, we gotta get these uh, strings that kinda are the connecting tissue that holds the pods into the fruit. These pods are little uh, seed carrying vessels or vessels. And uh, if you, we open this up, as we'll see inside, look at that. There's one little seed in each little fruit pod. Now the whole purpose of the fruit pod is to feed the seed, the nutrients, so that it can actually grow up into a new tree. And we're going to open this little membrane thing out and check it out. There's a little seed coming right out. Now one of the cool things I want to remind you guys is that you guys can take the seeds out of the produce you buy from the store and grow them out. Yes, you can do this. I don't know what you're going to get. Many plants may be true to seed and some may not be. It doesn't mean if you're going to plant apple seeds you will never get oranges, but you might not get the exact same kind of apple. And that's all right because part of gardening for me is the, is the fun. It's like me being a kid and experimenting in the garden to see what I'm going to get because as Forrest Gump said, you never know what you're going to get when you plant a seed. Wait, no, he's talking about something else. In any case, uh, you know, the reason that spawned this episode today is because I was actually eating another one and uh, the seed actually had already sprouted and so now this one's actually sprouted already it's starting to grow so you know this to me is a volunteer and I like to take my volunteers and actually plant them so I'm gonna actually plant this in a nursery pot with some good potting soil and uh, let this grow up and we'll see if we get jackfruit actually just kidding um, in my climate here these jackfruits will grow during the summertime I could probably bring it inside keep it alive during the winter and keep bringing it out every summer um, they'll probably never produce because the jackfruit trees get very tall before they even think about producing. So I could grow this as a curiosity. And I'd encourage you guys to do that too, you know, just because somebody says, don't do it or it won't work, doesn't mean you can't do it or can't try. You know, you could have, if you have a nice large building or warehouse, you could grow some jackfruit in there. Maybe it'll fruit and, and make fruit for you. But to me, that's just a lot of extra expended energy and work for something that may not work. But nonetheless, I'm going to try it, and I have grown other tropical fruit trees before and have given them to people, you know, so I've actually taken ice cream bean trees to, like, my friend in Florida and had him plant them out there and, you know, pass these trees on to people that maybe could take care of them because, you know, I'm just, I just love gardening and growing plants. So I know what some of you guys are thinking this whole time, talking about seeds. John, what does a fruit taste like, man? Well, mmm. They have all kinds of different varieties of jackfruit. Some are more crunchy, some are more soft when they're ripe. That being said, they should all be very sweet when they're ripe. It's unfortunate that most jackfruit sold in commercial trade is not fully ripe because they're picked too young. Fully ripe jackfruits, 
literally, let me tell you this, you guys could smell it from like, you know, I don't know, one-tenth of a football field away. Let me tell you, if the wind's blowing your direction and there's a ripe jackfruit downwind or whatever, you'll smell it and you'll know it. And that thing will just separate off the tree and drop and just be a big blob because it will be that soft. And I've had these in Hawaii off the tree and they are absolutely delicious. Now what these guys taste like is, uh, mmm. <laughs> oh, I love every bite. What these guys taste like is like juicy fruit gum. I know all you guys out there probably had juicy fruit gum by Wrigley's, right? They got inspired by the jackfruit, not the other way around. You know, jackfruit came first, Wrigley's uh, juicy fruit gum came second. So imagine eating fruit that tastes like gum. And yes, this is my lunch. I want to encourage you guys sometimes to have a fruit lunch. You know, many days I'll have just fruit for lunch. I won't eat anything else. You know, fruit's very healthy for you. A lot of antioxidants, and when it tastes this good, it's like you're eating dessert. Mmm. Every single bite. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, jackfruit seeds. Now, you know, I always want to encourage you guys to do the best use of your seeds, whatever that may be. And so uh, I could eat these seeds. Actually, people do eat these seeds. You could actually boil them in salt them and eat them. I've also actually dehydrated them and then pulverized them in the Vitamix to make them edible, you know, in their raw state without cooking them. But you know, in most cases, I like to sprout, germinate, and grow my seeds into the full-size plants because that is truly the best used in many cases, in my opinion. Because then you could propagate the gene pool and keep the genes running. Now, this, granted, will be mostly for fun because uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get a jackfruit tree here. But it's fun to see if I get these guys to sprout and grow and uh, take care of them because then I can say I have a jackfruit tree in Vegas, and I bet nobody else does. All right, so super simple, super easy. We got our Pre-mix homemade potting soil here. Mix that up myself. We're just gonna go ahead and take a little one gallon container here. Load this guy up. About that much. And we're just gonna take and place our seeds in there, man. And uh, you know, I am seeding these uh, thickly or densely in this container, spacing them a little bit apart. And this is fine because one of the things is that uh, Fruit trees are very, very resilient. So once these guys start to pop out, you know, I'm gonna probably, uh, I'll separate these guys out. And it'll be no problem because there won't be as much uh, transplant shock as there would be with small little baby vegetables. All right, look at that. Looks like little Easter eggs. Now we just take some dirt, pie it on top, gently tap it down a little bit. And finally, don't forget to water. So hopefully, like me, you're doing this, or you're trying to transplant uh, fruit trees, tropical fruit trees in the summertime or springtime when it's nice and warm. These guys will actually go into my greenhouse for a little bit of extra moisture and to stay warm. So hopefully they'll germinate, and uh, soon enough I'll have some uh, jackfruit trees sprouting up out of my one-gallon pot. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode learning more about the jackfruit and how to sprout some seeds and grow some jackfruit trees for fun. I want to encourage you, no matter where you guys live, to always, you know, take some of the seeds out of the, some of the fruits you're eating and try to grow them and see what happens. And hey, post a couple of videos about it and I may even check them out. And also, don't forget to eat fruit for lunch once in a while. I enjoyed my lunch and hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing.